Welcome back to my channel so you guys may have noticed that i have not posted in a minute and i was saying that i was going to be consistent i was i had like the you know this fire to like keep making videos but it's just been hard you guys just with like the state of the world that we're living in right now and just a lot of other events that have happened in my life that i will mention in this video have like affected that and i know like i'm not really making this video for me because i know what i'm going through or for my friends and family because they know automatically like what i'm going through but it's just for like everyone that watches me and that subscribe to my channel just to know you know and like also for us to like connect in a different way um because you may be going through the same things i'm going through and i would never know if i never made this video you know what i mean i have like a list on my phone because i'm the type of person i'm a gemini so i'm like all over the place i'm an air sign so like i can literally be talking about ham and cheese and then i'll end up talking about how the world is a simulation like literally so as you can tell by this video this is going to be the quarantine anxiety diaries and i have like a whole series on my channel about like how I, how i've been dealing with my anxiety um ever since i started documenting it i thought this was the appropriate video to start back um on my um journey of being consistent on youtube and there is a moth or a fly in my room due to the spread of this virus my anxiety levels have risen so has everyone's which is something that we can obviously connect on and it was just like how am i gonna pay my bills how am i gonna pay for my college tuition how am i how am i gonna do my classes how are people gonna even buy food how are we gonna need like what is gonna happen and which is why like there was so much hysteria like just you can feel it like when we would go outside to like buy groceries or if we were to go outside to visit someone's house like just like the energy of like new york because i live in new york just the energy in new york was just like so different like i felt like we were it, it I, I don't know how to even describe it but if you guys all know that feeling because we all felt it together um as this started to worsen i always talk about my diffuser but i actually really do use it especially in times where i have like really high anxiety and i need to sleep like i use that that's really like um what soothes me and calms me down and like like gets me into that state of like okay like i need to relax like this is time for to like chill but it was just like nothing was really working like my sister was about to have her baby and that was like the scariest part just because our family is like really really close so we were all super scared about that like what's gonna happen my sister literally i don't even know like she probably had like 10 million michelle you can you could write down in the comments how you were feeling for your anxiety um but she was probably feeling like so anxious and like helpless to what to do because we all didn't know what was like gonna happen next you know what i mean with this virus and my sister is a germaphobe so she she was definitely very scared i'm pretty sure her mindset was like how am i gonna bring an infant into this world in this climate you know what i mean so it was just super crazy especially in our household so the next thing on my list was like my tuition how am i gonna pay my credit cards how am i gonna survive like how are we all gonna survive um and not survive in the sense because i know it sounds kind of dramatic but i know you guys feel me on this because like how how am i gonna like pay my pay my, my like my tuition which is like what's gonna set me for the future you know what i mean so it was just really bad anxiety like i had i had a talk with my parents and like we all decided like i think it's best for like you to take out a student loan because you can't stop going to school you know the last day of face-to-face -face classes was a hard one because none of the professors knew what we were gonna do like we were all we were all like on the same page usually like professors know like oh like this is what we're gonna do or like they're the people that tell us like this is what you have to do to, to pass our to pass my class but it was like we all are starting from zero so we're gonna have to do this together i had one professor that literally she sat us down and asked us what what would be the best way for you guys to like learn you know what i mean and how would it be like 
and like we all voted like we all did like a like a voting thing um which was really helpful and she's such like that professor is literally like the best pro professor ever it's obviously the, the end of the semester and it's like okay so what are we gonna do for like next semester i haven't even made my like my schedule for next semester um which i'm actually scared about because i'm like am i even gonna get the classes that i want um or that i need for my degree and how are we going to transition from this like are like our classes going to be face to face again are they going to be online and let me tell you just because a class is online and i know all my college students watching can attest to this like that doesn't mean that it's any easier it's actually freaking harder because one you can't even like like contact the professor right away if you're like doing an assignment like you have to wait and like wait for them to answer and some of them don't even e don't even have emails or like don't even like check their emails like that so it's like it's very difficult like for us i don't know how it's gonna be like if next semester like if my classes are like are they gonna be hot like they're gonna like i don't know how the curriculum is gonna be and like the syllabus is gonna be and like their expectation of us is gonna how is it gonna be for next semester you know what i mean and i'm honestly literally so freaking scared to go to school face to face if like next for next semester so that has has me up at night like has me thinking like has me talking to god like god what is gonna happen um which is i don't know which is something that i can't really control so i tell myself like demi you need to chill because we can't control this like this is something that we can't control like it's only time like only time can tell and that's what i tell myself and that's what i tell you and that's what i'm trying to tell you guys like if you guys are feeling the same way that i'm feeling like we can't control any of this like and it feels like so hopeless because as college students like what is our voice like you know what i mean like how like how can we be heard that's the anxiety like i just want to be done with school like if you know me personally i freaking hate school so like i just i just want to be done and this is like another obstacle you know for us to face and no i'm pretty sure no one really really genuinely likes school like we're doing it because we have to get dash money fourth thing on my list has just been like dealing with this like social distancing thing with like our friends and our family and within my family like we just suffered three deaths within a week some due to the coronavirus and some that are not even related to coronavirus but still it's still affected by the coronavirus because we can't be there for our family members like it was such a struggle to even like console certain family members during this time because we have to wear fa a mask and like gloves and like it was just it was just literally like the worst thing ever like and like certain family members like we couldn't even see them and it's like during a time like that where you lose somebody so like dear to your heart you don't even want to pick up the phone you don't want to talk on the phone like you don't want to facetime it's like that family is fa like family is there to like console each other like in person so it's like that was like taken away from us and like another thing that was taken away from us was not being able to properly bury our loved ones like religion plays a big role in this because some of us don't believe in cremation and that was like our only option that is the only option if you pass away during this time you can't be properly buried and if you are properly buried your family members can't even make a funeral for you like they can't even do a funeral they can't even have a gathering and like mourn the loss of a loved one and that's that's been overall the hardest part of this quarantine like it's been so like so 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 hard because i want to be like with my aunt like i want to be there to console her for the loss of her son like i don't want to be i didn't want to be home when that was happening you know or like i wanted to spend time with my family i wanted to console them i wanted to hug them i wanted to mourn with them but it was it was li it's literally impossible during this time so i'm gonna try to like move on to like the next thing on my list that has been giving me so much anxiety and that is like just the state of like the world at this time like everyone on social media on the news on like youtube videos on ev just everything is like okay like you know just try to stay productive try to be happy like try to find things to make your mind like deflect from like what's going on but it's like 
how the fuck do you expect us to do that when like we literally can't even see our friends like we can't even see our family like, like there were times where like i would like literally spend like 500 days sleeping over at my cousin's house because i wanted to get away from my anxiety you know what i mean or like being around her would take away my anxiety just this the state of like the of our like of our, of our world right now everyone is like anxious because we all want to just return to our normal lives but this is like the new normal sometimes when things happen you feel like they're only happening to you or to like your family but it's like this is affecting everyone and like you forget that because you're just so like it's so it's something so new to us that we forget that there's other people that are probably dealing with worse like the homeless like people in, in prison which is crazy like i saw like there was like this video i'm i don't know if you guys have seen it if i find it maybe i can link it, link it down below but it was like this person that was in prison and he was literally like showing like the state of his cell during this time and his cellmate literally had coronavirus and it's like how, what are like what was like what are the regulations like what is happening like if one cellmate like that cellmate like if one cellmate has a coronavirus he should be quarantined like why is like why are they like keeping these people together and when i saw that like obviously we're all going through this together and we're all worried about our families and ourselves but it's like when i saw that i was i was shocked but i wasn't shocked at the same time because I know that our like government ain't shit so it's like are you kidding me we should have been prepared for this and that's another thing like another thing that gives me anxiety because like something like planned for this like we're supposed to be the best the the best country in the world right but like but when i when i saw that video i was just like my heart broke into pieces because there's some people that are, that are in prison that are either finishing up their sentences or have been like wrongfully accused and just other like circumstances that have them in prison that they shouldn't even be in prison so when i saw that video i literally my heart just broke for all for everyone that's in prison right now because i know that they're not safe like they're they're not safe at all if you guys watched the reel um you guys know amanda seals on it and she was talking about how we're losing literally losing a gen our generation of wisdom which is like our elderly like we're losing all of them it's not a joke and it's so freaking scary you guys like it's so so scary and i know you guys all feel me on this so like if you guys need to like release some of your like anxiety which some of you have because i did a poll on instagram about anxiety and like how's everyone doing and stuff like that and i had like a bunch of dms like telling me about how they've been feeling what they're going through and i love to see that so if you guys have like anything like you want to talk about like, you're more than free to like dm me or like comment down below telling me or emailing me about how you guys feel so you're more than welcome to i'm just putting that out there because i'm a non-judgmental person and as long as you're being safe i won't call you out <laughs> another thing that we've been seeing um during this time which isn't something new this isn't something that has just happened out of nowhere oh my god like brutality against black and brown communities just started happening like no like this has been happening for a while um but it's it's been it's like it's but it's crazy to see how brut like how this brutality can happen during a time like this like it's just like it's crazy to me i have no words like the videos that we've seen like black and brown communities versus like white communities how like the differences in treatment is crazy like what you wouldn't you would think actually you wouldn't because the way that our country is set up is like i should have seen this coming you know like it's not a surprise it's not a surprise that this is happening and i feel for my fellow black and brown um peoples and the thing is like you have to stay informed you have to stay informed in order to like make a change in order to donate to certain places in order to just like post about it and like inform like people that you know like your friends and family that follow you that's the thing that we can do while we're at home during a time like this um 
And obviously, like, I just want to encourage you guys to stay home and stay safe. If you do go outside, wear a mask, wear your gloves, see your friends. Like, that's another thing. Like, I feel like it's okay to see your friends as long as you're six feet apart and you're wearing a mask and you're wearing gloves. Like, you know what I mean? It's better to see someone in person physically than see them over FaceTime. It's not the same type of connection. You know what I mean? Like, go for a drive. Listen to your favorite music. Find new podcasts. Find new books to read. Like, um finish your finals end on a good note <laughs> end the semester on a good note and honestly another thing too is like don't spend your money unnecessarily like just because like you see these freaking influencers like buying like oh i'm gonna buy this to make a video for this or i'm gonna buy like new slippers or i'm gonna buy new pajamas like no y'all don't need to be spending your money on that like save your coin like we ain't rich I'm sorry, like that trend to like buying a bunch of new stuff, like no. I unsubscribed to BoxyCharm. What else did I unsubscribe for? Well, I was only subscribed to BoxyCharm because I'm broke. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We never know what the hell is gonna happen. Like every single day is a new thing, a new thing, a new thing. So we have to be smart. Remain properly informed. Like just because you see something on Facebook doesn't mean that it's real. Do research, Google that hoe. If you see something on the news, fact check it like find multiple sources that says that have like the same type of information our lives are at risk and we have to be very very careful with the things that we do during this time so i really encourage you guys to stay safe uh, stay protective and stay well informed um thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys made it to the end of the video um let me know any of your anxieties during this time any of your concerns during this time um I'm more than I'm more than happy to write back to all of you guys. I love you guys so 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 much and I hope you guys are all doing well and are safe and are healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching.